Budweiser stage like you've never seen it before. While so many of us are packing for summer vacation, how one of the best groups out of Canada pack for a major summer tour. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. Push down on that pedal so it's closed and then wash your hands like that. Here's, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. These are our wardrobe cases. So we all, all of a sudden, we live together, you know, for yeah. a couple months. Yeah, and all our clothes are in here. Our bike helmets. Okay. So when we get to a new town, we want to find sort of a park or a trail or a good place to eat. Get on our bikes, so. Ke Kevin's section, Jim's section. Kevin and Jim's section sometimes overlap. We can't remember whose shirt this yeah. is. And doesn't everybody want this shirt? I mean, I do. We'll put yeah, a Lindsay I mean, section in there too. So when you go to kindergarten, you get a cubby. When you go on tour with bare naked ladies, you get your very own cubby. All right. So take us through yours. Look at I this. have the same shirt. Stephen Colbert shirt. You do? Yes. Yeah. So. That's an awesome shirt. Oh, check this one out. My cousin Harlan did this. First mannequin on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever put anything in others' drawer just to mess with them? Like. <laughs> yeah. That is like. You're walking on shaky ground. Oh, this is now. precious personal space. Beauty products. This is very important right now. Good point, Kevin. Yeah. So take me through this. your beauty products here. Um, positively smooth. We need to be smooth. <laughs> Helps you shave less often. That's important when you're on the road. We have, we have our very own snack time, the Bare Naked oh, Ladies yeah. snack time treat box. So everyone should have this at home. <laughs> Very we important. have some fan I'm gonna art. Add that to mine. Yes. Some fan art that's been in there since 1996. Beautiful. Seeing a show at the Budweiser stage in the summer is a tradition for so many, not only in Toronto, but across Canada. And we're going to give you a look at Bud stage like you've never seen it before. We're going to take you backstage with Bare Naked Ladies ahead of their last Summer on Earth tour. Come on. We're all pushing through for summertime. I'm getting a view right now of what you see, which is just wild to me. And I have you ever kind of got used to everyone singing your songs back to you and just losing themselves completely in your music? Well, it's still a great thrill to have, you know, people, first of all, people pay money to come and see us and pack this place. It's pretty great. Um, and then, yeah, to have them sing this, our songs back at us, have them rocking out, dancing, singing. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, this is the, you know, the prime scene. When it comes to drumsticks, it is an interesting thing to throw in the crowd. Is there a strategy you have before you do such thing? Okay, I learned the hard way because you can't just like you can't just like you know whip it like that because it, it could easily take somebody's eyeball out, right? So you've got to you've got to learn the gentle kind of toss like this so that they can catch it so it doesn't end up you know puncturing their cornea. Let's do you want let's try this out and see if. See if I can do it. If my cornea will be okay after this. When I come down to the front of the stage, it usually means I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> That's so I'm good. thinking, oh, my, my, my legs are stiff. Ah, oh, man, my hips. I got to loosen up a little bit. So, you know, I get up here and that's when I can really, you know, let loose and shake, get a better view of the incredibly good looking people in the front row. Um, wonder if I'm flying low. I often wonder if I'm flying low. It's like, it's like you, you have to do it very, very subtly though. It's like, yeah, everything's great. You know, so there you go. That's my, that's my ritual. There have been thousands of memorable shows here at the Budweiser stage throughout the years, but what does an artist see when you're standing here screaming your face off? Well, Ed Robertson from Bare Naked Ladies is going to tell you exactly what he sees when you're out there in the crowd crying listening to your favorite song. You don't have to call it Take One because there's only going to be one take. George, take one. <laughs> the take. This tour, we're starting in a way that I don't think we've ever started before. Generally, we're off in the wings and we play walk-on music and we come out and start a song. This is the first tour ever where we've got uh, a lot of video production running and we're gonna start with a kind of beautiful aurora borealis scene and it's gonna go house dark and I'm actually gonna start the first song from off the stage so I'll be playing 
the intro of our first song called New Disaster as we're all walking on the stage. So I'm playing guitar. I roll out to center stage. Everybody else is getting set. And the night begins uh, with me starting the lines of New Disaster from center stage. When I walk out on stage, I'm just thinking, this is gonna be fun. I'm looking for people to connect with in the crowd. I'm looking for friends that I got tickets for that night. Like I spend the first couple songs spotting people and I can see the whole crowd, by the way. People always wonder that. Yeah. I can see everybody. Like I spot people 50, ro 50 rows back. I apologize, I got you crappy seats. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I always find my friends that I have at the show every night. That must be such a nice moment to have that connection, but I'm curious for you, do you ever remember being at a show and having that connection with somebody on stage when you were in the audience? Absolutely. Okay. It's, it's always an exciting moment. Max from Arkells gave me a little <laughs> nod up at the Barry show the other day. I shivered. I, he's so dreamy. You can watch the Bare Naked Ladies perform here on July 23rd on Bud Stage. Until then, I'm going to work on my opening act spot. How does this work? For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn. Hi, Mom. <laughs>